Hi guys! I don't know. That was a little bit different. I was just feeling it. So, I know my last video I told y'all I would not be doing a haul video for a while because I am whore and have to buy presents. That lasted two days. I'm ashamed. But, I actually have something really exciting to tell you. So I went to CVS because I had, when I went last time, I got gotten $8 of the extra bucks. And I just kept thinking, I'm like, I'm going to forget about them. And I'm going to waste $8 because that's really what it is. Hello, light. Anyway, um, because you get to use those $8 on anything you want. So it's pretty much $8 for CVS. And if it expired, I would just lose them. And it would be like a total waste. So I was really, like, kind of paranoid and I forget about that. So I went to CVS. And I want to tell you, because I got the two things, then I got another $5 off. So I had to just, I just used it again, because that one, instead of lasting a month, it was only like two weeks. So I spent $0.48, cents, exactly $0.48. Cents. And what I got was this Wet n Wild um, eyeshadow palette. And this is in Petal Pusher. Now, I've never used Wet n Wild, and obviously the packaging is not great. I'm trying to, I want to try to swatch something for y'all. I should have opened these before I made the video, but I was real excited. And I need to go TA, so I don't have a ton of time. But, um, sorry, I'm, ugh, open, open, please. Uh, but I've heard so, so many great reviews about Wet n Wild. I've actually never heard a bad review as far as their eyeshadow palettes go. And this one was only $5 for eight shadows. And I'm going to... Okay. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, open, please. There we go. So it comes with a little eyeshadow dookie. Doohickey. Uh, and it has these eight shadows. So this is like the purpley side. This is coming up blue. But it's actually purple, and then this is like brownish. So let's just, I'm gonna do, and then these three are, are I'm trying, these three are the glitter ones, and the other ones are matte. So, like, this is a highlighter, that's pretty good, and it's an eyelid one. So, like, those are pretty good, and then if you want to, I'll swatch them on my hand for you. Let me get some more of this. Which one is this? Oh, goodness, I forgot. Oh, it's the eyelid. There you go. So, like, that's pretty pretty well pigmented, I think. And I was only, like I said, $5 for eight shadows. So that's less than a dollar a piece. Can't really compete with that. Even though I didn't pay $5. Again, only 48 cents. I also got, sorry about the rustling of my bag. This is a Milani nail lacquer. And the color is 09A Key West. And this was on sale. It's usually a $7 nail polish, and it was on sale for like $2.99. And I've, ne I've heard things about Milani as a brand, but never their nail polish. I think the packaging is really pretty. And I just like it. Hopefully it looks nice. And last but not least, and this is something I probably wouldn't have normally bought, but I had $5. I didn't want to spend over $5. And there just wasn't anything really good that I saw that I really wanted for that price. So I got LA Colors Nail Polish Kit. This is for like Christmas they have it. And it's called Ombre. I probably wouldn't wear it. Like I think the point is you're supposed to wear like all five of these on a different nail and give yourself an ombre effect. Which is fine if you want to. I probably wouldn't do it that way. Um, but... Yeah, they're just five different reds. Well, this is a pink. This is a red glitter. These two are almost the exact same. Like, I really, this one is a smidge bit darker than this one. But, like, they're almost the exact same. And this one's dark, so I just figured I could try it for free. So, all that 48 cents, I was excited. Then I went to Target, and I actually went there... Because I had a grocery shop. But I always check out their sales. And their dollar bin. Their dollar bin has treasures. 
These are from the dollar bin. Now, y'all, if y'all watched one of my other Target haul videos, y'all saw my Chris or my Halloween socks I got for a dollar. And so, I love the Christmas socks too. So we have some Christmas tree ones, some snowflakes with Santa. These are reindeer. These might be my favorite just because they're animals. You know me. Polka dots and snowmen. So. And I did, you know, I wore my Halloween ones a lot. And the quality isn't amazing. They're a little bit thin. But for a dollar, I mean, they, I don't have holes in them or anything already. So I figured they're fun. And I love Christmas. So this is a scarf. And it was on sale. And I really have been wanting this scarf since I, I saw it a while ago. And I almost bought it then. But I just waited and waited. And so it was on sale. And I bought it. And it's navy and red. And this is like floral, a floral pattern, but to me it almost looks like fire. But I love me some scarves. I wear them all winter, all fall. Even I, I guess it's still fall. It's only November, so yeah. Um, but I really liked this, and it was on sale. The next two things that I bought. I mean, I don't know if these are super exciting to y'all, but I had my little turkey. A uh, candle holder that I got in the dollar bin, which I've hauled before, so I think y'all might have seen it if you've watched that haul. Um, and these little baby Yankee candles were on sale, and so I figured I could put these in there. And this one is Appleberry Spice. It has a lot of apple, but then it's kind of got, you can definitely smell some spice. It's not cinnamon, though. It's just kind of like spicy. Does that make sense? I don't know if it does. I'm trying. Scents are really hard for me to describe. It's just not one of my talents. And this is Yankee Candle Vanilla Icing. And this is just so sweet. But not like sickly sweet. It's very vanilla, but it's a strong vanilla and some sugar. That's how I would describe that scent. Then, I don't know if you hear about this. I bought some eye drops. Because I don't know if you all have this problem, but whenever I take off my makeup, I always get something in my eyes and they just hurt so bad. So I figured I could just get some eye drops. I needed some anyway. Um, Sonia Kasha brush and sponge cleanser. I've heard really good things about this brush cleaner actually. And um, I don't have one and one of my brushes definitely needs to be cleaned. So I just got that. Hopefully it'll work nicely. I've heard this is Rimmel Stay Matte Everlasting Press Powder. And I got it in 005 Silky Beige. And I've never used this. I've actually never used Rimmel at all. But um, I've, again, heard so many amazing reviews about this powder. I've actually heard a lot of people that I watch say that this is their favorite drugstore powder. So, and I like powder. I use powder every day. So, ooh, it feels really good. Hopefully that will work for me. I think so. I mean, I just swatched it so it could blend in, and it pretty much does. So, I'm excited to try this one. These next things, I bought five. They were each a dollar, so that's why I bought them. And it's from the e.l.f. Cosmetics brand. Now, I've never used e.l.f., but I have heard some pretty good things. I mean, obviously, it's cheaper than pretty much anything. So, I don't know. I just want to see it for the price, how I feel about the quality of the different items that I got and I'll let y'all know for sure. They do have some items that are a little more expensive like I think the most expensive thing I saw was like six dollars. I mean nothing ridiculous at all. Um, but I just wanted to see the quality of it before I spent more than just a dollar. So I got this is the e.l.f. professionals foundation brush because oh, yeah, you can kind of sort of read that. Um, it's really soft actually just kind of looks like a paintbrush. But I've been wanting a brush to apply my foundation. I don't have a sponge though, so I'm hoping that I can try to make it look pretty natural. And if not, I'll just go back to my fingers. Then this is the e.l.f. concealer brush. And it is so tiny. But I try to not use my fingers as much as I possibly can. I mean, I always wash my hands before I um, do my makeup. Well, I actually hand sanitize because I don't like my hands being wet. But if I figure if I can do something without having to use my fingers, I would like to. 
So this is the concealer brush. And you see how tiny that little thing is? It's the same color. It feels the exact same. Um, I hope it works. I don't know. I figured I could invest $5 in trying out this, pro uh, this brand. This is the Luscious Liquid Lipstick by e.l.f. What color? I got... Is that the name of the color? I think it is. 2111 Baby Lips. And so... Okay, let's try this out. I think you crank it. Hello? And... Well, it's just not working. Do I just have to keep on cranking? To me, and I don't know if it's just there. Well, I see I've cranked all of this and I'm still not getting any product. That's okay. There! Whoa! Comes out like Play-Doh. Like, you know when you smush the things in the Play-Doh? That's what it looks like. It doesn't feel too sticky. I mean, just on my fingers. That's the color. I don't know. I think it almost might be supposed to be like a dupe for Fila. Just I think I just because the packaging. It's really well. It looks similar to me to the Fila brand lip glosses. So I don't know. I'm sure it's not as good, but I just want to try. Just want to let y'all know. This is the Elf Eye Lip Primer. And now I have heard really really good things about this actually. My hand. I'm going to go and my students are going to laugh at me and think I'm crazy. It kind of feels like clay. If that is the bottom. You can see that. So, I don't know. Hopefully, it works well. I'm a big fan of eyelid primers. I think I've mentioned that in a few videos. And last but not least, I bought the e.l.f. Tone Crafting Concealer. And I didn't see different colors of this. Maybe I just, I don't know, maybe I bought a bad color for me. Oh, hello. Oh, this is called 4006 Light Beige. So apparently there were different colors and I just bought one. Um, it's got a little Dofa applicator. Oh, where am I going to put you? So that is... It actually blends pretty well. That's surprising. Um, I don't know. I just figured we're going to see. We're going to check out this brand, see how I like it. And that's all. Not a huge haul by any means, but just some things that I wanted to get. Um, and like I said, everything I got was on sale or a very, very minimum price. I have a problem. I shop too much. I know I do. I'm trying. But anyway, so I have an exam tomorrow. Probably Thursday, if I had to guess. I don't want to make promises that I'm not going to keep, but I'm pretty sure Thursday I should be able to do a new video for y'all. So look forward to that if you look forward to my videos. Hope you do. Um, so anyway, I will see you very soon. Bye.